Today we are going to start revision number 1 of chapter number 10 circles. So this is the revision of uh, periodic test number 3 which you are going to face. Okay, this is the first chapter. So let us re recollect what is circle. The circle uh, is the collection of all the points in a plane which, uh, which are at a fixed distance. If we take a fixed distance, leke, see this one. This is a fixed distance and we are collecting all the uh, points which is equidistance from this point. This is fixed distance. Now we are collecting all the points. So it will form a shape of circle. Take a shape form karega that is called a circle. So collection of all these uh, points in a plane is called a circle. So the fixed point is called the center of the circle and the fixed distance is called the radius of the circle. In the adjoining figure, O is the center and OP is the radius and it is denoted by small r or capital R according to our choice. Okay, And uh, now circle divides a plane into two parts or uh, three parts. One is interior, another is exterior and the third one is on the circle. Okay, A circle divides the plane on which it lies into three parts. They are inside the circle, interior of the circle, the circle means on the circle and the outside the circle which is also called the exterior of the circle. Now let us move towards the uh, and circle is denoted by uh, this notation. This is the notation of circle. Cir how you have to read this one? Circle with center O and radius R. <clears throat> okay. Now terms related to circle. So this is the rough figure and uh, here now we are going to discuss, we are, I am going to discuss each uh, term. Okay, so, so let us start with the first arc. What is an arc? Any part of the circle. If you take this part AB, so this is arc. Okay, any part of the circle is called an arc. Next one. Circumference. What is the circumference of a circle? The perimeter of a circle. Okay. The perimeter of a circle is called the circumference of a circle and it is equals to 2 pi r. Next is radius. What is radius? The line joining with the center to any point on the circle. So here O, B, O, C, O, A are the radius. Okay. So next one is chord. What is chord? Arpita? Sir, chord is a line segment joining any two points on the circumference. Okay. Very good. Chord is a line segment. A line segment jab bore hai, uske do end points honge. So the two end points where it should lie, it should lie on the circumference of the circle okay and uh, next is diameter now what is diameter okay can you identify chord in this diagram Rohini chord ed 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 any any other chord ac 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 right ac now next is diameter diameter is the chord which passes through the center. Diameter is two times of radius. Diameter is the longest chord. Diameter is the uh, is a line segment passing through the center having at end points on the circumference of the circle. So, do thin prakar se look diameter ko yaha pe define kar sakte. So, can you identify the diameter in this figure? Yes, sir. Thank you. AC. Very good. Next is secant. Secant is a line which intersect the circle at two points. So, this figure is secant. Hai nahi. So, I make a rough figure. Mein bana rahu. Suppose this is a line and it intersect the circle at two points. So, this line is called secant. Next is tangent. Tangent is a line which intersects circle at exactly one point. Okay. Suppose this is a line which intersects circle at one point. So, this line is called tangent. Next is concentric circles. 
two or more circles having the same center are called concentric circles. Circle, एक सर्कल के अंदर में दूसरा सर्कल विथ सेम सेंटर थर्ड सर्कल ओके सो अगर दो से दो या दो से ज्यादा सर्कल जिसका सेम सेंटर है सो दैट सर्कल्स आर कॉल्ड कॉन्सेंट्रिक सर्कल्स नेक्स्ट वन इज सेमी सर्कल वॉट इज सेमी सर्कल सी डायमीटर डिवाइड सर्कल इंटू टू पार्ट ओके सो ईच इक्वल पार्ट इज कॉल्ड टू इक्वल पार्ट ईच इक्वल पार्ट इज कॉल्ड सेमी सर्कल ओके दैट इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड हाफ ऑफ द सर्कल सेमी मीन्स हाफ ओके सो नेक्स्ट इज माइनर एंड मेजर आर्क आर्क तो हम लोग स्टार्टिंग में देखे थे सो माइनर एंड मेजर आर्क वॉट इज माइनर आर्क एंड मेजर आर्क सी सेमी सर्कुलर आर्क से अगर कम मेजरमेंट है इफ द माइनर आर्क इज इफ द आर्क इज लेस देन द सेमी सर्कुलर आर्क then it is called minor arc if the arc is greater than the semi circular arc then it is called major arc is it clear yes sir next yes, yes. segment what is segment <clears throat> see when we will draw a chord that chord divides the circle into two parts yahan par dekho ed is a chord okay ed is a chord ED divides circle into two parts. This part, this this shaded part, and this whole part. Each part, this part is called segment. And again, here also we have two types of segment. One is the smaller one is the minor segment, and the larger one is the major segment. Okay. So यहाँ पे ये वाला part जो है ये segment है, minor segment. And the remaining part is the major segment. And the next one is sector of a circle. can you identify the sector of this circle this part okay the region bounded by the two radii with the corresponding arc this one this is the arc and this is the two radii so this region is called sector of a circle and here also we have two types of sector the smaller Uh, this is the smaller one the uh, minor sector and this is the major sector okay any doubt in this uh, terms related to circles no sir okay now congruent circles next one two circles are said to be congruent if their radii are equal or if their radii are equal two circles are congruent okay congruent circles implies radii radii of दो सर्कल्स आर इक्वल उल्टा इफ रेडियाई ऑफ टू सर्कल्स आर इक्वल दे आर कॉन्ग्रेन नेक्स्ट एंगल सबेड बाय कॉर्ड एट ए पॉइंट सो हियर एंगल पी ओ क्यू इज द एंगल सबेड बाय द कॉर्ड पी क्यू एट द सेंटर दिस वन ओके an angle p r q is the angle subtended by the chord at point r on the circle or the major arc an angle p s q is the angle subtended by the chord p q at a point s on the minor arc p q so this is the angle subtended by a chord at a point so three possibilities are there at the center at the major arc or at the minor arc next theorem number 10.1 Equal chords of a circle subtends equal angles at the center. So theorem हम लोग कैसे prove करते हैं? Given लिखते हैं. To prove, if uh, along with diagram, then if construction is required, construction, then proof. So ये पूरा complete करने से full marks मिलेगा. Okay? So first I am going to draw the diagram. According to the diagram and the given statement, equal chords. So chords are equal. A B is equals to cd it is given and we have to prove that it subtends equal angle at the center so the ye dono angles equal prove karna hai so what is given a circle with center o radius r in which chord ab is equals to cd and what we have to prove angle aob is equals to angle cod right so yahan pe construction kuch bhi nahi hai so we'll start with directly this taking these two triangles and we are going to prove these two triangles congruent सो so, कैसे प्रूव करेंगे देखो दिस टू साइड आर इक्वल वाई ऑफ़ ओके वेरी गुड एंड दिस टू आर आल्सो इक्वल 
Yeah, yeah, of the circle. Right, and this is also equal. Why? Given. Right, mm -hmm. so very good. Given. So these two triangles are congruent by which criteria? S S S. Very good. S S S criteria. So if these two triangles are congruent, so we come we conclude that angle A O B is equal to angle C O D. Why? C P C T. Very good. C P C T. Right. So this is the first theorem of the chapter. Now we'll move towards the second theorem, the converse of ten point one. Okay. So if the angles subtended by the two chords are at the center are equal, then the chords are equal. So same diagram. अब यहाँ पर ये दोनों equal दिया हुआ है. ठीक है. Angles subtended at the center are equal. It is given. And what we have to prove? Chords are equal. That means AB is equal to uh, CD. We have to prove. So, is may be subse pehle hum log ye dono triangles ko congruent proof karenge. Okay, these two triangles. So, how we will prove uh, OA is equal to OC? Why? Area of the circle. Right. And OB is equal to OD. Area of the circle. And these two angles are equal. Given. So these two triangles are congruent by which criteria? S A S criteria. Very good. S A S criteria. So we'll conclude A B is equals to C D. Why? C P C T. Very good. C P C T. Next uh, exercise ten point two का ये first question है and it is uh, similar to ten point one theorem. Prove that equal chords of congruent circles subtend equal angles at their center. So यहाँ पे दो कॉन्ग्रेंट सर्कल्स हैं कॉन्ग्रेंट सर्कल्स जस्ट नाउ आई टोल्ड दैट कॉन्ग्रेंट सर्कल्स आर द सर्क टू सर्कल्स आर सेड टू बी कॉन्ग्रेंट इफ देयर रेडियस आर इक्वल ओके सो हियर ए बी इज इक्वल टू सी डी इट इज गिवन एंड वी हैव टू शो दैट एंगल ए ओ बी इज इक्वल टू एंगल सी ओ डैश डी राइट सो दिस वी हैव टू प्रूफ अगेन वी आर गोइंग टू प्रूफ दिस टू ट्रायंगल्स कॉन्ग्रेंट हाउ O A is equals to O dash C. Why? O A is equals to O dash C. Why? Radii of congruent circles. Okay, very good. Radii of the congruent circles. So O B is equals to O dash D also. Radii of the congruent circles, and A B is equals to C D. It is given. <laughs> right. So these two triangles are congruent. By which criteria? S A S criteria. Right, S A S criteria. S A S. हाँ, तीनों sides हम लोग ले रहे हैं तो angle कहाँ से आ गया? S A S criteria. Yes, S S S congruence rule. So if these two triangles are congruent, then angle A O B is equal to angle C O dash D. Why? C P C T. C P C T. Right. So this is question number one, and question number two is also similar to ten point two theorem. If two chords of congruent circles subtend equal angle at their centers, then the chords are equal. So, बिल्कुल similar है. यहाँ पे अब angle equal दिया हुआ है. These two angles are equal, and we have to show that chords are also equal. So, we'll start with. That means AB is equal to CD. We have to prove. We'll start with OA is equal to O dash C. Radii of the congruent circles and OB is equal to O dash D. Radii of the congruent circles and these two angles are equal. Given. Okay. So these two triangles are congruent by which criteria? S A S criteria. Yes, very good. यहाँ पे S A S होगा. Okay. So so that will imply AB is equal to CD. Why? C P C T. C P C T. Right. So this is theorem, uh, question number two of uh, first ex, uh, second exercise. Now we are moving towards perpendicular uh, next theorem uh, under this uh, under the topic perpendicular from the center to chord. The theorem is like that: the perpendicular from the center of a circle to a chord bisects the chord. ठीक है center से अगर हम लोग perpendicular draw करते हैं तो वो chord को bisect करता है. So that means see this figure. We have to show that AL is equals to BL. and this is perpendicular so so let us start what is given ab is a chord and ol is perpendicular to ab this is given right and what we have to show that al is equals to bl 
Now here we have to do some construction. So what we are going to do join OA. Right? OA or OB ko join kar liya. This is clear? Yes, sir. Okay. Now we have to prove these two triangles congruent. Ye dono triangles ko congruent proof karna hai. So let us start uh, by proving these two triangles congruent. How OA is equal to OB. Why? Radius of the circle. Very good. And these two angles are equal. Why? Each angle. 90 degree. Each 90 degree. And OL is equal to OL. Common. So these two triangles are congruent. By which criteria? RHS criteria. Right. Very good. RHS criteria. Okay. So AL is equal to BL or LA is equal to LB by CPCT. So now the converse of theorem 10.4. The line drawn through the center of a circle to bisect a chord is perpendicular to the chord. Is 10.3 ka ye converse hai. So you see the diagram. Now this is the midpoint of AB. M is the midpoint of AB and we are joining with the center O. M ko O se join kar rahe. So what we have to show that this is perpendicular. Okay, this angle is 90 degree. This angle is 90 degree we have to show. So how we have to show? So let us start with the given M is the midpoint of the chord AB of a circle center with center O and radius R. And we have to show that OM is perpendicular to AB. Construction, join OA, join OB. Now we have to show that these two triangles are congruent. How we have to show? See, OA is equal to OB. Why? Radius of the circle. Okay, very good. Radius of the circle. And AM is equal to BM. Why? Given. M is the midpoint of AB. And OM is equal to OM. Common. Common. So, these two triangles are congruent by which criteria? SSS. Very good. SSS criteria. So, OA is equal to OB, radii, OM is equal to OM, common, MA is equal to MB given. So, these two triangles are congruent by SSS criteria. Now, these two angles are equal. Why? CPCT. CPCT. But the sum of these two angles is 180 degree. Why? Linear pair. Linear pair, right. So, the, the sum of those two angles are, is equal to 180 degree and those two angles are equal to each other. So, therefore, each angle will be equal to 90 degree. Hence, OM is perpendicular to AB. Any doubt in this theorem? No, sir. Okay. Now, exercise 10.3, uh, question number 3. If two circles intersect at two points, prove that their centers lie on the perpendicular bisector of common chord. Okay. So, we will do revision in revision important theorems and important questions. Karenge, right. And we will do some additional questions if required at the last, in the last revision. So, if two circles intersect at two points. So, suppose two circles are intersecting at two points A and B. And this is the diagram. What we have to show that the their center lies on the perpendicular bisector of the common chord. So, this is the common chord AB. Okay, this is the common chord. Or is the perpendicular bisector O, O dash is the perpendicular bisector of AB we have to show. Right? So, suppose this uh, radius of this circle is R and the radius of this circle is S. So, we will start. Uh, by joining O A O B O dash A O dash B and let O O dash and A B intersect at point M. So this is point uh, intersecting point M. So we'll start with these two triangles O A O dash and O B O dash. So O A is equal to O B. Why? Each equals to R. Right. And O dash A is equal to O dash B. Which is equal to S. Right. And O, O dash is the common. Right. 
So these two triangles are congruent by which criteria? S S S criteria. S S S congruence rule, right? So if these two triangles are congruent, so these two angles are equal. These two angles by C P C T. Okay. Now after that, now we are going to take these two triangles A O M and B O M, right? So this will imply AOM is equals to BOM because they belongs to the same angle. So let us take those two triangles. Ye dono triangles. These two are equal radii of the circle and these two angles are equal proved above and this is common side. Right? So therefore these two triangles are congruent. By which criteria? SAS congruence. Very good. SAS congruence rule. So that will imply these two angles are equal, this angle and this angle and AM is equals to BM by CPCT. But the sum of these two angles are equal, uh, 180 degree. The sum of these two angles are is equals to 180 degree. Why? Linear pair. Linear pair. So, dono equal bhi hai or dono ka sum 180 degree hai. So, we can conclude that both are equals to 90 degree. So, AM is equals to BM and these two angles is equals to 90 degree. So that means OM is the perpendicular bisector of AB or OO dash is the perpendicular bisector of AB. Any doubt? No sir. Okay. Now next topic is equal chords and their distances from the center. So the length of the perpendicular from a point to a line is the distance of the line from the point. Okay. So theorem number 10.6 equal chords of a circle are equidistant from the center. So two chords, chords are equal hai, to unka jo perpendicular distance a center se, wo dono equal hoga. So see this diagram. A, L, uh, A, B and C, D are equal chords and O, L is perpendicular to A, B and O, M is the perpen uh, perpendicular to C, D. So, O, L jo hai wo A, B ka uh, perpendicular distance hai and O, M is the perpendicular distance of C, D. And we have to prove that these two are equal. Okay. So, let us start with the construction join, uh, sorry, to uh, join O, A and O, C. O, A and OC. Uske baad, now we are going to prove these two triangles are congruent. Right? And we know that perpendicular from the center of a circle to chord bisects the chord. Right? Starting with padhe thayam log isse pehle. So that means AL is equals to BL or we can write AL is half of AB. Similarly CM is half of CD. Okay? But AB is equals to CD it is given. So, un dono ka half be equal ho jayega. And half of AB is uh, AL and half of CD is CM. So, these two are equal. So, let it be equation number one. Now, we are going to prove those two triangles congruent. These two triangles. Now, AL is equals to CM. Why? Prove double. Prove double. OA is equals to OC. Why? Radii of, Radii of the circle and these two are equal. Each is equal to 90 degrees. 90 degree. Now these two triangles are congruent by which criteria? RHS congruence. Very good. RHS congruence rule. So that implies OL is equal to OM. Why? CPCT. CPCT. Right. So yeah, proof karnata. Now next equal chords of congruent circles are equidistant from the corresponding center. Uska a uh, extended part hai, corollary part. The same theorem is applicable for congruent circles also. See the, the congruent circles O uh, with center O and O dash, right? And AB is equals to CD. So now what we have to show that OL is equals to O dash M. So this may be construction of the same as the join OA and O dash C. Now we'll take these two triangles, but before that, the same thing we will, uh, what we have used there, uh, perpendicular drawn from center to chord bisects the chord. So, AL is equals to half of AB, CM is equals to half of CD. 
same step okay and ab is equals to cd it is given so half of ab will be equals to half of cd and this will imply al is equals to cm right now we are going to take these two triangles al is equals to cm prove debo oa is equals to o dash c radii of the congruent circles and these two angles are equal each 90 degrees so these two triangles are congruent by which criteria RHS. RHS. Right, RHS congruence rule. So, OL is equals to O dash M by CPCT. Right. So, next, uh, chords equidistance from the center of a circle are equal in length. Right. So, now we are going to say that if chords are equal, then they are equidistant from the center. Now, if chords are equidistant from the center, they are equal. Converse. So, here we are going to say that. A, B or C, D such that their uh, perpendicular distance from the center are equal. Now we have to show that chords are equal. That is A, B is equal to C, D. So we will join O, A and O, C. Jaisa usme kiye the. O, A, O, C. Right. Now we will start, we will write the same step what we uh, did in the previous theorem. That perpendicular drawn from the center to chord bisects the chord. So, AL is equals to half of AB and CM is equals to half of CD. Okay. So, now we will prove these two triangles congruent. Kaise? Dekho dhyan se. OL is equals to OM given. And these two are equal. Why? Each ninety. Re, wala, radi, radii of the circle. And these two angles are equal each 90 degree. So, these two triangles are congruent by which criteria? RHS congruence rule. Congruent Very good. So this will imply AL is equals to CM by CPCT. CPCT. Right. Up AL half of AB tha or CM half of uh, CD tha. So two times AL will be uh, equals to AB and two times CM will be equals to CD. This we log aisa bhi likh sakte the half of AD is equals to half of CD. उसके बाद लिखने के बाद half of cancel करके AB is equals to CD भी लिख सकते हैं Okay, so this is the proof of this theorem Now let us move toward the next one Chords of congruent circles which are equidistant from the corresponding centers are equal Same theorem with for that is also applicable for congruent circles So यहाँ पर OL is equals to O dash M दिया हुआ है And we have to show that AB is equals to CD and these two circles are congruent circles, right? So we will join O A here, O dash C, right? Now we'll write the same step: perpendicular drawn from the center to chord bisects the chord. So A L is equals to half of A B, C M is equals to half of C D. Now we'll prove these two triangles are congruent. How? O L is equals to O dash M given. O A is equals to O dash C, radii of the congruent circles, and these two angles are each 90 degree. They are equal. So by RHS congruence rule, again these two triangles are congruent. So A L is equals to C M by C P C T. Again A L kya hai half of A B or C M half of C D, or you can multiply uh, two. Both sides, and you can write two times of AL is equals to AB, two times of CM is equals to CD. Why? Because of this. Any doubt in this one? No, sir. Okay. So now we'll see one example how to use this theorem. The radius of a circle is 13 centimeter, and the length of one of its chord chords is 10 centimeter. Find the distance of the chord from the center. So this is the diagram. Radius is given and the length of the chord is given that is AB and we have to find the distance of chord from the center. Right. So we'll start with the first let AB be the chord of the given circle with center on radius 13 centimeter and OA is equals to 13 centimeter AB is equals to 10 centimeter. Now we know that perpendicular drawn from center to chord bisects the chord. So what is the length AL? 5 centimeter. Right. 5 centimeter. Half of AB. 
so we know that the perpendicular from the center to chord bisects the chord so al is equals to half of ab so half of 10 will be equals to 5 cm ab hum log ko ol nikalna how will you find ol now using pythagoras theorem very good yeah. using pythagoras theorem so what you will get if you use pythagoras theorem o a square is ol square plus al square O L square plus A L square. Very good. So we'll substitute O A O A is thirty. O L nikalna hai. A L five. Okay. So O L square will be equals to O A square minus A L square. That is thirteen square minus fifteen square. One sixty nine minus twenty five. So we'll get one forty four. So what is the square root of one forty four? Twelve. Twelve. Right. So the distance of the chord from the center. Is twelve, right? Now this uh, one more question is there. So find the length of a chord which is at a distance of eight centimeter from the center of a circle of radius seventeen centimeter. So abhi pichle question mein ham log uska distance nikale the center se abhi center se distance diya hua hai length of chord nikalna. ठीक है? So this is the figure and we'll find AL here by using Pythagoras theorem. And AB will be two times of AL, so that we have to write uh, for that proper steps. So we know that the perpendicular drawn from the center to chord bisects the chord. So AL is equals to half of AB, or AB is equals to two times AL. ठीक है? अभी फिलहाल हम लोग AL निकाल रहे हैं by Pythagoras theorem. So OA square is equals to OL square plus AL square. So AL square will be equals to OA square minus OL square. That is 17 square minus 6, 8 square. That is 64. So 289 minus 64. 289 minus 64, 225 होता है. Okay. So 225 is the uh, square of 15. Otherwise, A square minus B square के formula भी use कर सकते हैं. So this is uh, uh, 25 and this is 5. 25 into uh, sorry 9 so 2 225 आ गया so 225 का square root होगा 15 right so that means uh, chord will be equals to two times AL that is two times 15 uh, 10 30 centimeter okay so now we'll move towards the assignment questions the last section already time is over so this is only three questions are there so Uh, you try to complete this uh, uh, now only if you are free okay only three questions are there so that's all for today's class thank you thank you very much